Good morning, Magic. I'm Gavin Verhey from Wizards of the Coast, and today we're going to find out exactly how many t-shirts I can wear at once. Now, why are we doing that exactly? Well, that's because it's Unfinity Preview Week, and I've got a card that, well, matches that challenge nicely. Let me show it to you. It's called Souvenir T-Shirt. It's a three mana equipment, and it's got Gear Up, sponsored by Wizards of the Coast. As Souvenir T-Shirt enters the battlefield, roll two six-sided dice. For each magic branded item you're wearing, roll an additional six-sided die. Choose two of those results. Equip creature gets plus X plus Y, or X is the first chosen result, and Y is the second. Equip four. Now there's nothing on this card that says you can't wear multiple shirts over each other. So I thought I'd give you some hot strategic advice and find out exactly how many shirts I can wear. And I have accumulated a lot of shirts. So I just went into my closet. I've got three rows of magic shirts. I grabbed a bunch. Let's get started. Now for anyone out there watching and wondering about these rigorous testing procedures and strategy, I wear a men's small. And I was thinking about the strategy for this, and I do think if I wanted to totally maximize it, what you should do is buy like a lot of really large shirts and layer them, right? Small shirts, medium, large shirts, extra large shirts, and so on. And of course you can wear other accessories too, like sunglasses or hats or what have you. But for the purposes of this episode, I wanna stick it to just t-shirts. I don't wanna do it like any of you might do. You just go into your closet, you grab a bunch of magic t-shirts, and uh, you've you know, accumulated for 20 plus years like me. All right, so shirt number one, I already have on. It's this delightful secret layer signet. So start the board at one. Now let's go to shirt number two. Little walk down memory lane here. Oh, here is an Elspeth shirt. This is from the original Theros set. Oh my gosh, it's a large. I should have saved this one for later. Well, let's see what happens here. All right, so that is two shirts on, two on the board. Oh, a nice little J shirt. This is a model after the San Diego Comic-Con Jace. Shirt number three going on the board. All righty. All right, next up, shirt number four. Oh, let's go exploring a little bit, everybody, with Ixalan. Here's shirt number four, a nice Ixalan shirt. Green, I've worn this one. I remember I wore this one in the Philippines, trips all around in it, got some good exploring done. So that's four shirts, four shirts on the board. All right, on to shirt number five. <laughs> you can debate with your friends if this is magic branded apparel, but this is from Kalesa Apparel, so I would count it if you played against me. Super fun, very comfortable too. All right, that's gonna be shirt number six. All right, shirt number six right here. Oh yes, yeah, so I talked about this, I think at some point. Here is this delightful werewolf shirt from Instrud Midnight Hunt. It's gonna be shirt number seven. All right, we're getting that on there. No problem, That's shirt number seven. Uh, all right, here's another Coles Apparel shirt featuring uh, the senators of New Provincial School of Law. It's gonna be shirt number eight on the board. All right, things getting a little tight, but we can, we can definitely keep going. We wanna maximize, we wanna maximize our chances. So here's our next shirt, oh, which is a, a snow design. This is one of ours that came out with Kaldheim. That's gonna be shirt number nine right there. Oh, yes, here's a, not another not official magic shirt, but I would still definitely count if you're wearing this. Shirt number 10, this is a game night shirt, and it says game nights on the back, only one may stand. Whenever I wear it on the thumbnail, the episode always does well, so it shows that you all love game nights. Okay, so that's shirt number 10, we're at 10 shirts so far. Let's move on to shirt number 11. I think we'll lose if a shirt rips. Here is uh, this delightful um, Kamigawa shirt from the Neon Dynasty. I didn't lose count somewhere. All right, there's shirt number, ooh, it's getting warm in here. Shirt number 11, still ready to go. Still got my arms ready to roll all those dice. Okay, here's the Aquaria shirt. This is the shirt I was wearing when I shaved my beard. So that's my main memory associated with this shirt. Okay, yep, no problem here. All right, shirt number 12 on the board. Ooh, Kaladesh right here. Really should have been an Innistrad shirt for number 13, but put this on. Now, with this card, you only need to get sixes twice. So you really don't need this many shirts, but you want, want to maximize your chances. You really never know. All right, there's shirt number 13. Oh, this is a cool one. This is um, this for Magic Staffers, I think. This is um, Black Lotus on the front for the 25th anniversary, about five years ago. Should have saved this one for shirt number 25, but I didn't think I'd get that far. Who knows if I will? All right, that one goes down. 14 shirts on. Oh, it is warm. Oh, 15 shirt, number 15, we've got Gin Gataxias. So we're gonna put on this Gin Gataxias shirt. Getting it down. All right, there we go. Still limber, no problem. Feeling good about this. 15 shirts, all right, 15. On to shirt number 16. Well, this one's inside out. How bad of me to not fix it. Let's, let's, it's gonna be like unwrapping a booster pack. What do we have? Oh, the lightning bolts. Another, another Colossus Apparel shirt. Shirt number 16. Okay. All right, that's shirt number 16 here. And still, no problem. What do we got? Oh, and here's a fun one. At the Zendikar party at PAX one year, they had a t-shirt making company there that um, you could collect tickets and have them make t-shirts for you. And I collected a lot of tickets from people. So I got like seven of these t-shirts made with different stuff on them. So uh, I got a lot of them. 
So here's number 17. Shirt number 17. Woo! All right, no problems. I can't reach to grab another shirt. That's also a problem. It says Magic the Gathering on it. What's not to love? It's got all, all the mana symbols. I have also somewhere, I don't think I grabbed it. I've got a misprinted version of this that has the mana symbols in the wrong order. It's like the ultimate shirt to wear to tilt your opponents. So, gotta love that. All right, shirt number 18. That's what this one is. Okay, uh, shirt number. Oh, another inside out one. What do we have? Oh, another Coles Apparel shirt right here. As easy as one, two, seven. We all know that, uh, that arithmetic, I hope. Oh, okay. Perfect. Shirt number 19. We've got, oh my gosh, another inside out shirt. Shirt number, uh, shirt number 20. We're going to be Ashiokin it up. Love this shirt. Been on the video series for a long time here. I did a video showing off apparel a very long time ago. Oh no. All right. It's on. We got it on. That's shirt totally number twice. We're currently 20 shirts deep. I just want to count, say, you can go like this. You can really, I don't feel a thing. I really don't feel a thing. Shirt number 21, another inside outer. Oh, it's that. It's the extra life shirt. Hopefully it'll give me an extra life at putting t-shirts on. Oh, I heard some ripping there, but it didn't rip all the way. We're still good. All right. 21 shirts. 21 shirts. Oh, it's another Ixalan shirt. This one is from uh, Grand Prix, I think. So yeah, it's got a list of Grand Prix that year on the back. This one I think is also a V-neck, so slightly less mass. V-neck shirts, if you have any magic shirts that don't have arms, let me tell you right now, it's really gonna help you out. All right, got that guy on. It's gonna be number 22 there, okay. Oh, hey, remember that story? It's another one of these, uh, of these Zendikar shirts, Battle for Zendikar shirts. Perfect. All right, shirt number 23. There's no play testing this, I'm just doing this live. Okay, all right, Ooh, what do we have here? It's, oh, I do love this shirt. I know this one's a great purple shirt. This is uh, my Magic Online shirt that was a gift to people who had assisted with Magic Online at some point. I'm just putting this guy on. Okay, that's shirt number 24. There were 24 shirts deep at this point. <clears throat> all right, here is shirt number 25, another Colossus Apparel shirt. Oh, this one I think, is, I think this one's gonna be all right. Oh, I can't wait to keep it 100. Yes, we can keep it 100. All right, shirt number 25. All right, it's getting it's getting pretty pretty rough in here. Going on shirt number 26 though. It's uh, gonna be Jace, Jace the Mind Sculptor. This is a medium, so now we're definitely getting to the point where any mediums I have will be good. The t-shirt strategy really, really paying off. You know, it's really getting them over your back successfully. It's one of the hardest things. Wow, okay, well, I just put on um, 26 t-shirts. And I uh, I don't have any more in this room, so I'm gonna have to go find more. I didn't get this far. Give me a second. I'm gonna be right right back. This is horrible. Oh my goodness. A few moments later. Okay. All right. I grabbed another stack of magic shirts here. Now I will say I also I should note I avoided any long sleeve shirts. Obviously long sleeves would be really hard to do. So so next up, just in time for Halloween, we got I think what number was I on? So shirt number 27 here. This is Innistrad Midnight Hunt Halloween. All right, get this baby on. It's like burning up in here. I've got it like a light shining on me. All right, it's on though. Number 27, we have 27 t-shirts on. All right, t-shirt number 28. Oh, it's a little SCG con from here. What time was that SCG con? Summer uh, 2019. Well, that was a good time. I think I was in a dunk tank. Really memorable. I got to go on a dunk tank for the first time. What well, if I should change up my putting on strategy? I should like put it around my neck first. Maybe that's maybe it might be really good or really bad. I'm not sure. Okay, I don't recommend the neck first strategy. That's like really bad decision. But we're getting it on. We are getting it on. All right. T-shirt number 28 has been acquired. Whew. Really can't feel anything now. I just go like all the way up. I'm ready to go fight. All right. Uh, T-shirt number 29 is gonna be uh, this. I guess. What do we got? Oh, it's uh, it's an Urza's one. Yeah, how hilarious would it be if the Urza shirt is the one that broke it, right? It's got Chimeric Idol on here from Urza's block. Shirt number 29, here we go. Oh, oh no. Shirt number 29, shirt number 29 is on. We did it, shirt number 29. Okay, get into 30, so we can get to shirt number 30. Okay, well here is, uh, I'm gonna call this magic related. This is from my friend's shop uh, called Coral Sword down in, uh, down in Texas. They have really great play mats I've used before. Put this on, shirt number 30. Can we get there? All right. Ugh. Oh no. Oh no. Come on, we can do 30. We definitely can do it, Gavin. We can get to 30. Oh no, this one's gonna be tight. Man, it was not meant to have 30 t-shirts on at the same time. But here we are, 30 shirts. Oh, yeah. This is, this is something. This is really, I mean, look at this. This is a whole mass down here. 
All right, on to shirt number 31. All right, here is the pride shirt. This, this year's pride shirt, or last year's pride shirt, I think. Last year's pride shirt. Shirt number 31. All right. Oh yeah, that one's on no problem. Further proving there is always room for pride. Uh, okay, um, shirt number 32. Can we get to number 32? And this is, oh, another Extra Life shirt. Will we get an Extra Life? Oh, oh no, uh-oh. I don't know what to, I don't know what to do. <laughs> help, help, can I get it on? Ugh, I don't think I can. I think this is it. I think this is where I get stuck. I'm gonna be like this for the rest of my life. This is the end. Well, everyone, it was good knowing you. Turns out the human limit is 32, 32 t-shirts, not go to 32, 31 safe, 32 too much, don't do it. <laughs> Reporting on behalf of Good Morning Magic Wizards of the Coast, enjoy infinity, enjoy souvenir t-shirt, wear 31 but not 32 t-shirts, and um, you know, just remember everyone, you got this. Attractions. Here's how they work. You start the game with a side deck of attractions, at least three unlimited, or at least ten unique ones if you're playing constructive. You shuffle them and leave them off to the side. Then, at some point, a card will instruct you to open an attraction. When you do, flip up the top card. Bam! It's on the battlefield now. And hey, 